I mean, if we could gay, I'd say pair him with Silas, but we can't. That's a shame we can't gay route. Sucks! It's a shame we can't gay route. <laughs> Dear game publishers, let us play bisexual characters. It's fun. Yes, there also... are two reasons I like that. Reason one, you don't have to start in a whole nother save to get everybody's story. Reason number two, it's fun. It's fun. I mean, didn't Mass Effect not... allow you to do that? Or Mass... one of the Mass Effects? I think so. I'm I trying know... to think of games that let you do it. I'm pretty sure Rune Factory does. I know Stardew Valley doesn't, which you would think it would. But I think there's mods you can get for the PC version that fix that real quick. Also, Cyberpunk, uh... does. Cyberpunk also does it. It's like, this is 2024, people. Who also, cares about your relationships play, in video games? Also, I want to play Cyberpunk on stream, but I can't. Dude, you know what made Odyssey really fun? I played the female assassin and just made her try and get into everybody's pants that she could. Yeah, but I also want to try streaming Cyberpunk someday, but at the same time, I'm afraid. I wouldn't take that risk, dude. And if you do, I would get some sort of mod that would like cover up the nudity or something. Yeah, that's why I'm afraid of that. Because there are, I know there's some safe for work mods for the PC version. I don't have one on PC. Shit. So I was gonna say there's, because I know there's, I know obviously you can just blur like the new parts of character creation, but I'm pretty sure there's like nude scenes in the game as well as sex and like suggestive advertisements. Yeah, I'll do it. That's like the main culprit. How's that gonna fall? Uh, nothing seems to be broken. I said you'd be alright, didn't I? Felicia, are you alright? a really funny looking thing with those arrows spread. Are you alright as well? Yeah. She has like quite the protruding collarbone. Do you see that? Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> I, did, I never noticed that until then. I'm like, what the fuck? That is, I wonder if that's an artist error. I think that might be an error. I, I'm fine. Uh, 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 I'm fine. Just, <laughs> my stomach is a little upset. I'll be okay. So I have a theory about Azora, but yeah. I only have said theory because of the direct translation of, uh, theme song of this game. You want to hear it? Yeah. I bet you Azora is also a dragon. Oh, 100%. Because why else would she also know about the Dragonstone, and why else with the direct translation... Of the, uh, of Grey Waves mention something to that effect. So, where are we? This looks like it's definitely seen better days. This is the Kingdom of Vala. Vala responsible, is responsible for the war between Hoshino and Nor. Responsible? How? Follow also, me. I love how she do all of this. Wait, wait, wait. Massive plot hole detected. She knew all of this, yet she never bothered to tell the queen not once. Oh, wait, that's because of the explosion thing. Yeah. Follow me, both of you. If we linger here, okay. we'll be spotted. Bullshit clock and triumphs. This, this, game, has a lot, this game has a lot of those. This entire problem if you would just be allowed to tell the queen. Yeah. But no, you explode. <laughs> I just love that whole thing for just being that whole plot convenience thing. Great. Oh yeah, one hundred percent is. Like I said, I firmly believe that because of the fact the way Fire Emblem was designed, it would it fucked with the story so hard. Because, like I said last stream, permit uh, character driven stories in Fire Emblem don't exactly work well when the main character when the character stories. When the stories that are when the character is really important to the story can die permanently, which means per, which means plot points will not be explained because that person's dead. I have a direct rebuttal to that though. This game that doesn't matter because those characters will still show up in cutscenes. However, Fire Emblem Three Houses post time skip it does matter. That's just weird. Is there something I can help you with you today? I actually want to talk with you about something I realized. I believe that you and I are unique, in a unique position regarding Nor and Hoshido. I am a prince of Hoshido who was raised in Nor, and you are a princess of Nor who was raised in Hoshido. Ah, I see what you mean. I agree that we're pretty unique. Because of that, this hey, background. Hey, Goran. 
If you paid attention to the story for the last three seconds, Corn, you know that that's complete bullshit, and we had to, uh, and we forgot, and the writers forgot to rewrite this for this version of the game. 100%. They didn't expect you to keep her alive <laughs> this long. <laughs> Massive plot hole detected. Because of this background, I think we have interesting views in our countries. I want to talk with you and compare what we each believe. That is quite interesting. Start with Hoshido. From my perspective, it seems so warm and bright. Man, it's fertile and seems like no one has ever wanted for anything. A valid observation. This bountifulness makes everyone amiable and, amiable and respectful. And yet, there's always, they always have the threat of Norian invasion hanging over. So, I have a small theory on this game. It was made when tensions between North and South Korea were high again, and I wonder if this is an allegory for it. I think it was more a coincidence. Think about it. Ho yeah, but just think about it for a minute. Nor is literally a land that's just like Korea. It has like no fertile, or just like North Korea, has no fucking th fertile land, and its fucking ruler is a dictator. To where, uh, where Hoshido is more like South Korea, where it's like a democracy and has nice land and stuff. I don't know about that. I don't think they could flank you. Oh, never mind. Never that mind, works. his head has been knocked off his shoulders. Good, good, good job, Dude, if Korn. you actually fight with Felicia a lot, she gets pretty strong. Good job, Corn. You just knocked that man's head off his shoulders. Literally. Did you literally have to fucking knock his head off his shoulders? Yes. And then smear the blood on my back? Yes. You know how long it's gonna take to get out of my clothes, you asshole? Yep. He just did that said, never mind, that's a fucked up joke. I will keep that in my head. Yeah. I imagine on expert difficulty where enemies can just straight up go through you. Which is so annoying. You played this on hard ones? Like, that is just straight up bullshit, where enemies can just straight up and go through you. Like, you know how I played Felicia? I played her like the ninja. Yeah. Well, this guy's dead. And his knife, the knife is now sticking out of his throat. Good job, Felicia. I want to know where I made learn the throw knives. That's pretty fucking metal. Look at that, Felicia. Uh, you just straight up, um, what's the word? Oh, yeah. You just straight up stuck a knife in his neck. Cool. Dinner. It's better hit. I'm gonna be mad. It still has brains on it. One day I'm gonna make a joke that's completely gonna gross out chat and I'm gonna have to apologize for it. Yes, you are. You're gonna have to at some point. Oh, 100%. Still waiting for that day to happen, though. So far it hasn't, because our chat knows our humor. That's why I try and read myself back in these Fire Emblem streams. And now you are officially a dead man. Oh fuck! If those both both of those hit, I'm gonna, it's gonna be a very sad day. Fuck! <laughs> Critical failure. That is the worst shit. Oh, this isn't one of the fire rooms where you auto lose. Okay. Dude, I hate that with JRPGs. It's like. Oh, the leader of your party is dead? You automatically lose. Good job, asshole. Uh, Persona does it. SMT does it. Dragon Quest does it. Like, can we not? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's very annoying. It ruins... Oh, and Yoxa does it. It ruins the purpose of having a tank in your party completely. They say stuff when they level up. I'd be like, wait, well, did I just fuck, level up? Or screwed.
I shouldn't be. Oh, damn it. Don't skip my death dialogue. I sh she said I shouldn't be seeing my bone stick out like that. Did she? Yeah. I think she might be able to carry as long as you're super careful. Retreat back to the castle thing and let them come to you. Yeah. I'll try. That, I think that fortress thing will give you more defense if you just sit on it. See if they'll come to you. Ah, oh, they're gonna be dicks and just skip their turn. Oh, really? look at that! Look! Oh, look who's here! Hey, Jet. Fuck. Dude, even if I could stream from my actual 3DS, though, it has, like, a problem where the processor is just dying, so it keeps crashing. It's a fucking shame, because I... That was, like... My 3DS is one of the oldest ones Well, we're existence. screwed. Well, let's end of this guess, run. Guess what its manufacturing date is? I need to restart this anyway. Its manufacturing date is 2010, so it's one of the first ones off the line. Well, look at that. I gotta restart this map now. The... The version you can get in Great Britain and Ireland was not. Then again, the, Ameri from the, the American Nintendo's version probably official... anyway. Oh, I know. The Game Boy Advance is not foreign region... is not region locked for software. So does that mean... So does that mean you could technically... Does that work for the, uh, those Game Boy video things too, then? Maybe. You'd think those would be region locked. It's usually like TV stuff's a bit more iffy. Also, thank you for Stone of One. Listen, we'll get back to that one day, Jet. We're taking a uh, much needed vacation. Because. Alas, Prayo! Yeah, I tried streaming that game alone a while back and uh, it fucked me up mentally. Yeah, so what happened was, I don't think you were around for the our explanation, but what happened was, I fell asleep because I had like a pill imbalance that day, for my system reasons, and I forgot Shinigami wanted to stream that night. So, he took it upon himself to take the, the plunge alone. And I regret it. And I now realize I'm a sanity buffer. Pretty much. I think we were each other's sanity buffers. Oh, yeah, 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 you were there, Jet. I remember that rage quit. Yeah, he was there. Jet was there. I was the only one that wasn't. Now we're doing much better. I... I found the man... Her eyes just turn red for a second. Like just flowing red. <laughs> Wait, what happened to Azura? Did she die already? Yep. I think our plan to super res her or res her or buffer is failing. No, I just sucked. I forgot that <laughs> the area that we're supposed to go to had a bunch of guards in front. I gotta have Corrin go in the front or else he'll or else something bad or else one either or Felicia or Azura will die instantly what I think you just crushed that man with his own armor yeah and now I split in half let's go you even split the horse in half dude I'd love to see just a gory ass version of Fire Emblem where you're actually splitting bitches in half that'd be amazing that'd be funny Fuck! Oh, Yuri Lowenfeld was also in uh, that one... What the fuck was it called? Sunset Overdrive, he played the main character. He was one of the voices that voiced the main character. I think the female, think the female voice was actually Sakura's voice actor, which was dope. I don't know. I don't know who the female voice was. I, have to, I don't have a copy of that game anymore. It sucks. I had it free on uh, Xbox One. I wish you still had a copy of it. Sunset Overdrive was a maze balls, and it should have gotten the sequel. 
Why is it games I like never get sequels, yet games I can't stand always get all the sequels? I don't know. It's just me. It's just very weird. Do I just have shit taste or something? Yeah. Oh, cor oh, fucking. I forgot. SMT4 Sorry, took my is. wife and kids. <laughs> what the? This game took my literal in game wife and kid. What the? Is there something wrong with my eyes? Yes. Could I, could, yes. Wait. Yes. Could that night be? I I am done slaying all these fucking leprechauns. I am back, Lord Corin. Gunter. So <laughs> is that really you? My gag for okay, you're alive. So my gag for oh sorry. My gag for Gunter is he's really into his job, and he also for some reason sees every but enemy he fights as a leprechaun because he's Irish. I, I, I am lost. I lost consciousness as I fell, and when I woke, I was here. Oh, you should have seen the skulls of leprechauns I was bashing. It was fucking glory. Oh, and luck of the Irish. No, he's trying to be Scottish. Ow, my throat. <laughs> was, oh, damn it. I have no idea how I survived such a fall. Felicia, you've done a good job protecting our master. It must be that leprechaun DNA you have. A leprechaun? Hey, you are a leprechaun. But tell me, why are you all here? I brought them. Is that... Is that that leprechaun we banished to, Hosh to Noor years ago? Or no, we took in years... Wait, they took her in, right? No, he's Norian, right? I'm yeah. getting confused. He's Norian. Is that that leprechaun you guys kidnapped years ago? Who are you? It was, if More I like said it was Azor the... leprechaun. If I said it was the princess kidnapped from Nor as a child, would you understand? Ah, yes, I remember. When you were little. I apologize for my failure to protect you from your Hoshin and kidnappers. Those goddamn Hoshin and leprechauns. There's no need to apologize, really. Doesn't matter at the moment. <laughs> Might have learned how you survived here. You are quite the night to have avoided meeting a terrible fate. Wait, I feel like that was a Zelda reference, but I feel like you'd see Hoshidens as or Hoshidens as orcs though. You seem familiar with this place, Lee. Oh, I lost the voice. No. We don't have much time. Then, we'll lead both kingdoms to stop fighting each other and help us. If we had Xander and Ryoma, there's no way we'd lose. But how can we convince them? We can't tell them the truth. We'll just have to find another way. It's the only chance we In have. words, we will explode mean anything if we tell them the truth. Now, now that I know there is a common enemy for both countries to fight, I think we can save Norn Hoshido. The yeah, best is... anime trope. Just run away from the overpowered villain. <laughs> All I can do is believe in myself and try to convince others to join us. Corin, I suppose you're right. I felt so powerless on my own, but together we might be able to pull something off. I think we'll change if we stay here. Let's return to Hoshido first. I feel like they might be more willing to listen to us. Ouch. Uh, all this things. Hey, Felicia. I just saw a big pile of broken dishes. Um, did you... Oh, wow. That is a big cut on your forehead. You alright? Here, let me take a look. Hmm. I should put some ointment on this. I'm so useless. I can't even carry a few stupid dishes around. Wish I could serve you like a proper maid, or at least stop breaking things. Then you wouldn't have to look after me all the time. Aw, oh, come on, Felicia. We're practically family. Family helps each other out. Aw, oh, come on, Felicia. You fucking suck at your job. Besides, <laughs> so this is a good deal for someone who saved my life. I just made you laugh. I saved your life. Don't you remember? It's when I had that terrible fever years ago. Just kept getting sicker and sicker. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, yes. I do remember. Why is this just a conversation hallway? It was around the same time Flo and I started serving as your maids, correct? But even then, there was a mess. Couldn't care for you properly at all. I had no idea what to do when you fell ill. 
Well, you know the normal ways to treat an illness. It's true. But that didn't matter. I kept my fever down for days using your ice powers. Draw the heat out of me and into yourself. And said it was extremely dangerous. I could have died. It was the only thing I could do to think outside at the time. I like fully she's like one of my favorite characters in this game. Did you even stop it to see what might have happened to you? I'm grateful, of course, but I don't want you sacrificing yourself for my sake, okay? Why don't you look out for yourself too? Oh Karin, you don't understand. I was looking out for myself. What do you mean? <laughs> Never mind. Forget to say anything. Felicia wait. <sighs> Damn it, I've been cock blocked again. No. Yeah. A gate to the other worlds, made by the first dragons, gods of old. It is also the entrance of the Nintendo eShop. <laughs> I love that gag. The gods are pocket of Nintendo's fucking wallet. <laughs> the enemy. We're always routing the enemy. They need to get their own router. Like, seriously, the internet connection is terrible. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no. I will take that dad joke with me to the grave, mister. What are these orcs doing here? I'm only used to finding goblins and leprechauns. Gutrich is Goblin Slayer's long lost brother. <laughs> Instead of goblins, he fights leprechauns, though. Shut up. The publishers didn't know what to do with him. Oh, remember that joke we made? I forgot what it was. It was like Fate Stay Night. We made a joke about how Takumi was a reused asset that, that oh, Nintendo Oh, we bought. did! Dude, I still have that clip, by the way. What was the joke about again? Where... Basically, uh, Takumi was such a shitty character that Nintendo's like, look, you can- Look, can we just put him in Fate instead? Like, Type Moon realized this character's shit, and so... Type Moon made the character like, this character sucks, let's so just give it to Nintendo. Nintendo then used it for Takumi. They used the idea for Takumi. That was stupid. We are not Dr. Seuss and we proved it. Let me get- Oh, look at that! LEPRECHAUN! <laughs> <laughs> you said- You said- <laughs> <laughs> LEPRECHAUN! Die! Dude, you, you said that with me, such- like, Where the fuck is your pot of gold, asshole? <laughs> you said that with such passion. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Dude, your timing was perfect too. <laughs> you did it right at the peak. I saw the trend. I'm like, yes, let's do this. You did it at the peak, and that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was just I'm like, dude, like, I'm in pain right now. I'm crying so hard. <laughs> dude, oh, dude, 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 I was expecting just a regular crit. All of a sudden, I just hear Leprechaun. <laughs> 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 Motherfucker. Oh my god, that was amazing. Oh my god. That was hilarious, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Dude, I don't even think I'm part Irish. I might be somewhere. <laughs> Dude, that scream. <laughs> the amount of passion. I even put the accent on it. <laughs> Leprechaun! <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just the way you screamed it was so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> like, the way you screamed it was so fucking good, bro. Oh, it's gonna sorry. be worth the migraine tomorrow. <laughs> Dude, I screamed so loud I waked up my parents. Oh no. No, I surprisingly didn't wake up my folks with that scream. 
<laughs> that was amazing, dude. <laughs> I need my soundproof shit someday, because oh my god, if I'm gonna be laughing like that, I need to have soundproof walls. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. When I like get into it, I get into it. When I get into a character, I get into a character. Oh my god, that was amazing. There was one other time I had to scream like that, and that was when I was interrogating someone in a Batman series. That's where I learned to scream like that. <laughs> Ahem. Damn it, Percival! I said to stop! There's no I'm not anymore! By the way, Jeff, for context, because you probably weren't here for the last stream, uh, we gave the Hoshinans and Nors accents. Basically, the Nors are all, uh, Norians are all, like, Irish, like, they're cannon fodder. Irish, British, and, and then Hoshinans are country. The Hoshinans are all from Texas, canonically. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't even start over here by myself. Oh, also, no, some Norians have what's called the Norian cough, where they'll sit, well, they'll talk really passionately and, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> and just switches back and forth. And then I went to my own version called the Hoshin and Fever, which... <laughs> that was pretty him? funny, too. You want to tell them? What was the Hoshin and Fever again? Where it's like, Korn was infected with this thing called the Hoshin and Fever, where every now and then, he would, his accent would go turn to country. I'll just go full country. Yeah. Hello, Corin. You've come calling again? Indeed. So we continue the conversation we were having the other day. Of course. We were going to talk about Nor, were we not? Uh, yeah. I spent most of my life in Nor, and I can safely say it was always gloomy. Besides, dark forests, there were very little plant life among the rocky terrain. When I've read, most of the land is tundra and bad for farming. I've always heard that the people of Nor are especially cold to outsiders. It's always like the world they live in has deeply, deeply influenced their mentalities. You could dismiss that thinking, though. I know many Norians who are kind-hearted. Just look at our allies from Nor. I feel like the main theme of this game if I might interject, is to keep an open mind and question everything and not believe what you're told from either side. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Interesting. Like with Hoshiro, if we look at Nor with a different perspective, we both learn a bit more. Nor has invaded the other regions many times over the years, but talking about it now, could be that their biggest motivation has been jealousy or feeling alienated. <laughs> After all, Anyone would get upset if they were often made to feel inferior. And if that's how Hoshino made Norians feel, even accidentally, it's at least good to know. It doesn't excuse Norian actions, but it does help understand them. And my understanding might be we might be a step closer to bringing peace to the world. If we can find a way to ease the tensions that both nations feel. <sighs> First, we have to limit the evil that is getting in the way. But that's for another time, I think. Oh, they edited this conversation to talk about, like, the, uh, people underground, but not the other ones. There are many things to do today. You're right. I'd be glad to continue this conversation later. Pretty much. Oh, we have three likes. Oh, one for me and then one for me, probably one from Jet and then one from a mystery person. Yeah. Where was the other one you? That wasn't me. I was gonna say you can't like your own content, so for me it doesn't count, so I'm watching this on a separate account. Push it in. Uh Yukimura. Some nerve showing y'all face around here, Lord Trader. Same goes for you, Lady Zero. I as like any other princess of Hoshido, and yet... See, I know trouble Zura. turning your back to us when it suited you. I suppose you never thought this kingdom was your home. You're wrong, Yukimura. We haven't betrayed Hoshido at all. I'm not the enemy. Neither is Nor. Please, if you only trust me. Silence! Won't you try to justify your betrayal? Please, Yukimura. And I'm gonna give him an actual voice now. We did not expect this to be easy. 
It's unfortunate, but we should prepare ourselves for a battle. Yukimura, just hear me out. I do not have time to listen to your poisonous words. You're banning your friends and your family. I wouldn't be surprised if you helped Norris capture Lord Takumi. On top of everything else, Lord Ryoma's gonna miss it. Wait, wait, wait. Takumi got captured by Nor? That's fucking hilarious. Can't be. Corn just starts laughing his ass off. My brothers are. <laughs> your brothers? You dare think of yourself as a member of the royal family? Oh Lord! Oh, help, give me the strength to purify this little boy right here. He's just a mass. He's just a fucking. He's just a churchgoer, like a big time churchgoer. Yep. Oh Lord! Oh Jesus! Give me strength right now. Thanks to you, all ill has befallen Hoshido's best and bravest. Look, I'm. I'm sorry. I never meant for. I don't want your apologies. I want you to atone for your crimes. Gods, capture the traitors. <sighs> Will you not listen to me? Our real enemy is elsewhere. And by atone, I mean we are going to burn you at the stake we is. But how can I atone if I'm dead? Don't question the Lord of the Lord. I'm just like really nerdy when it comes to like proper medieval strategy. It's such a cool thing compared to like modern military tactics. You're a dead man. Are they trying to like? Yeah, I guess flanking does mean from the back as well. They're trying to flank you from the back. Well, you're a dead man. You're about to come in a war crime. You're not allowed to attack a medic. This is war. War crimes don't exist. Haha, <laughs> Leprechaun! I just committed a damn war crime and there's nothing you can do about it. The game just shuts off and resets and shows Gunter behind bars and it says you've been arrested by the American Red Cross. That'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> I didn't want it. Yep. Yeah, so apparently attacking a uh, any kind of medic is considered a war crime. <laughs> Or no, I think it's neutral medics. I know there's battle medics, which often who often have like submachine guns and the like. And then there are like neutral medics, like the unarmed medics, like the American Red Cross. And attacking an unarmed medic is a war crime. It's only a very a war bad war crime. It's only the they're considered non-combatants. <laughs> it's only a war crime the first time. Am I right? Like if you're attack, okay. Let's say you're attacking like a medic on the battlefield, Whoa! also fighting with an assault rifle. Well, that's fine. But if you, you attack like a medic station where it's like red, where it's like non-combatant medics are just treating people like nurses, you missed that the, is a massive war crime. You missed the perfect opportunity. He had a crit. Ah, oh, I didn't notice. I feel like if I scream again like that, don't get to throw my voice out. Jesus Christ, he's rolling crits all over the place now. Oh, you activated a heal floor? Yeah, I'm gonna let these guys heal for a bit. Yeah, promise. You have to kill these guys quickly, though, because they have a ton of reinforcements on this map. That's the whole thing. I'm gonna heal. Lauren, did I ever tell you about the time I took a Leprechaun's hat and. Hit the leprechaun so fast, was that he fucking got cut in half? You swung the hat so fast it acted as a blade. Yeah. Bleed right through the guy. <laughs> Listen, I know they're not leprechauns, but in Gunter's fucked up war crazed mind, every enemy he fights is just a leprechaun. Yeah. And he still doesn't know why he can't find the pot of gold. That'd be fucking amazing. Considering how strong Ryoma is, and can you take out entire armies, why the hell does he need a samurai or a ninja retainer at all? Why not? I mean, I guess retainers are also yeah, retainers were also caretakers too. Murder. So retainers usually took care of adults, and then Nan I think they were called nurses. 
Like, nurse had a different definition back then. Nurses in the medieval period tended to take care of the children. Yeah. So... You know that superhero guy they say is Sakura's retainer? When she was a kid? Yeah. They're kind of using it in the wrong context, but I guess retainer sounds better than nurse, though. I do believe Felicia's our retainer. Hold on. There's better be a crit. Attack to his armor at all times. Be time. a crit, please. Let's go. What? Leprechauns! Wait, can I do... What were you asking? Nothing. I was hoping can I quit? I was just saying I was hoping it might be a crit. Oh, I thought you said can I quit. I thought you were getting sick of the joke. No, I'm fine. I was just saying, like, bro, I want to do a crit. Like, it better be a crit. I'm Orochi. Return to later, Makoto. Let Clint Hoshi do. I can never forget what you have done. I will avenge later, Makoto. Takes out of my armor. Submit to my it's man. It's very impractical. I look a rat. Nice. Oh, look at that. He's dead. Look. You killed her with. Oh my god, you already have made her a monster. Yep. Ouch. <laughs> ah. This girl's a more fire if you have a defeat. Eh? I'm sorry, you can hurry. But I must retreat. I will deal with those who would harm her today. Oh, look at that. Dead man. And I'll put your brains on the floor. <laughs> Dead man. Look at that. Shit. Dead man. Look at that. <laughs> Whoa. Pretty dead man. Yeah, she's a walking corpse. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, say goodnight. You are going to be not missed by your family. So, um, see you. Bye-bye. Leprechaun with a puppet! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Puppet's gone! Die! <laughs> Can't this really be true? Also not so a leprechaun. I admit defeat. I think like no one in this world would even know what a leprechaun is. Yeah, no shit. That's why I picked leprechauns, because no one would. He's now a level 8 leprechaun hunter. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand. We're defeated? We're defeated. Oh god, we're defeated. Why don't you kill us? Because Jesus would tell us no. Because we don't need to continue this senseless violence. I know how to end it. However, I need your help in order to do it. <sighs> Helping you needs turning against Hoshido. You say I must do this to help Hoshido? I don't believe you. I gotta trust someone who's turning against everything I love. Yeah, we don't trust you if you bring back all the lives you've taken. Turn Lady Makoto and maybe we'll listen. I'll sacrifice my life to rid of the lives of these Norian fiends. Fire style! Get back! He intends to sacrifice himself in attacking us. Saizo, stop! I believe in Hoshiro. Even if I must give my life, I will stop you! No, brother! You're wrong. The hell did Kaze come from? Stop, please, Sanzo. Don't hurt my brother. Kaze, Sakura. These people deserve their fate. They turn against Hoshido. Brother, you mustn't be so rash. Lord Korn is trustworthy. When I was prisoner in North, it was Korn who let me escape. He saved me, an enemy, that warned about what would happen for doing so. 
Yeah, Corrin's a cool guy. A very calm person. But even during this battle, he didn't even kill a single defender. Why would he do that if he had truly betrayed Hoshida? There must be a reason. Please, just listen to him. Wait, plot hole detected. He literally just said, for all the lives you've taken, despite him not killing a single person in this fight. What the fuck? Emotions are probably high. <laughs> <laughs> they just literally contradicted themselves. Thank you, brother. Well, here's the thing. They were, like, raiding the place. Not only that, they probably had a hard time believing that they actually killed someone. <laughs> Doesn't mean I trust him. I will listen to what he has to say. Our real enemy is not a Nor or hidden Hoshido. It lies somewhere else. Explosion Hoshido. Death of my mother. These events were set in motion by King Garen. Somewhere else. Power of an ambitious force is manipulating us all. <laughs> so that's it. The enemy we haven't heard of is the reason for this conflict. Sounds like the work of an act of imagination. Nothing more. Educate us then. Who is this mystery enemy? I literally cannot tell you or I literally will explode. I'm sorry. Can't see much. Only the they will come in disguise of a more hush than such numbers. Need proof that what I say is true? Meet me at the bottom of this canyon. You think us fools? No. I don't think that at all. I just I'm sorry, but I can't see more. Well then. See this was a waste of our time. Had en I've had enough. Away with you. Wait, brother, please. Um, please, take me with you. I'm not very good at fighting, but I'm sure I can find a way to help. Lady Sakura, Sakura, why are you? I'm sorry, you come around, but I believe that corn is telling the truth. We haven't spent so much time together, but I can tell. Tell by looking in his eyes. He's trying to trick us. Lady Sakura. I didn't expect this. I don't know what to say right now. Even by your size, you're born. Touch your mind's made up. I won't try to stop you. Just promise me that you'll be careful. Thank you, Gamera. Brother, I would ask for your understanding. I'd like to accompany Lord Corn on his mission. If you are set on that course, you may do as you wish. I am. Thank you, Sakura. Kaze. Thank you for believing me. Let's head to our next destination. So I hate to be a Debbie Downer party pooper, but I am actually very tired right oh, now. Oh no, Could believe be... me, I, I was intending to finish this here as well. I could tell you carrying a very heavy burden. If I could do even the smallest of things to help you, then I... <laughs> She wearing shoulder plates on the side. Uh, I know it's a cape. Thank you for letting me join you. I uh missed you. Did they make I hope these I can help. Just for revelations. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> yeah, they could definitely remake these games in, the, in those types of graphics, dude. They definitely can. Oh yeah. The problem is getting all the voice actors back. Because Yuri's a big name now. Some uh, Steve Blum is doing a lot of other shit because he has a lot of jobs. Um, a bunch of other actors are also like big now. So I don't even know if it's possible to get them now. Steve Blum will do anything for a paycheck. He's Steve Blum. Yeah, but Yuri Lowenthal is busy with Spider-Man. Oh, wait, he's nice. Yuri Lowenthal will do anything for a paycheck. It's Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> <sighs> what the? Is that a Pegasus? It's it's heading straight at us. Who? Finally caught up with the lady. What? Subaki? Wait, I just remembered something. Didn't we have like a dick measuring contest between Subaki and a Norian dude? Yep. <laughs> that was the funniest <laughs> thing we ever did off camera. So. They, they just had this conversation about proper bathing, and somehow we turned it into a fucked up conversation about dick measure. And... Yes, and it was the best bit we've ever come up with. And I'm pretty sure I voiced Subaki there and made him gay. It was great. He made him gay as fuck, bro. 
<laughs> that was the point. <laughs> and it was amazing. Like, here's the thing, though. The reason why... Here's the thing, um, Jet and whoever's here with us. Um, the reason we play this game is because we got really nostalgic because we used to play it on our off time when we were, like, really fucking bored. And I'm like, fuck it, let's bring it back. Because we haven't touched it in a while. <laughs> and it... <laughs> And all the, the funniest bits we've ever made were there. It was amazing. It was back when we used to have our old VOD channel, or VOD channel called JRPG Torture. And we would play it after every session when we were bored. We didn't play it on stream, obviously, because the jokes we made were very NSFW. But it was it was the best sessions we would ever have. That we weren't playing on hard, so. Yeah. Oh, let it suck. I mean, you NSFW realize you here, left though. us behind? How could you? Hana. I didn't tell you. You see, what from Yukimura? Told that you left with Cold Corn. Ah, Yukimura knew that I need you too. <laughs> if Yukimura hadn't told us, but I searched the internet and figure out where you were gone. Dude, Honda's giving me straight up medieval lesbian vibes, but I got this. Indeed, Indeed my lady. It's our duty to protect oh. you, my lady. Nothing will stop us. Head somewhere that its own natural would go to. I'll we'll support you. I love that we always get everybody's retainers when they join us. Pretty much. Um, they just come with the package. Pretty much. Um, Sakura. Who are these people? Oh, um, Sakon. These are my retainers. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, <laughs> she just suddenly burps and swears midway. <laughs> see, I can see Subaki and Hannah dating if they are, if they've been her retainers for so long. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm Sakon. These are my retainers. Subaki and Hana. They're both very strong and kind. They've protected me for years. I fight on our side. It'll be helpful to have such reliable friends. <laughs> yeah, we will. we'll need all the help we can get. Thank you. Both of you. Of course. <laughs> get on our mission flawlessly. Are you trying to do a gay voice with the Western? Nah, I'm just trying to do like a high-pitched uh, raspy voice. Uh oh. I'm taking inspiration from like a character from like Octopath Traveler 2. Wait, to be honest, Lady Sakura, it'll be my- nah. <laughs> It'd be funny, but no. <laughs> to be honest, Lady Sakura will be on top priority, but I'll do my best to help. It'd be so funny to make her just a bitch, but she doesn't seem like that. <laughs> Fucking birthed in at a hiccup at the same time, that was a very uncomfortable feeling, fuck. I had to blow my nose, sorry. Did you ever hiccup and burp at the same time? Yes, it sucks. <laughs> I just did that, I'm like, oh, fuck, no. Yeah, I got the feeling all too well. It fucking sucks. Anyways, uh, we're gonna end the stream off here. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is way... <laughs> I like how... Have a good nut. What? Nothing. This one went well. Yeah, really well. Not as funny as the previous one, but it was funny. You gotta make me screaming leprechaun at the top of my lungs will... Brick taking a guy's eye out was pretty funny. It would do that that clip. It was so fucking hilarious. <laughs> like you, like I wasn't expecting it either. You did it when I was least expecting it, and I'm like, okay, just a regular crit. Finally, thank God. And I just hear Leprechaun you used to yell with the top of your lungs, <laughs> Leprechaun in the back. I got, uh, dude, I got excited like a school child. I'm like, <gasps> Leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> it's. <laughs> It was amazing! It was amazing, and I'm like, I'm like that was my shot, and I'm gonna take it! Dude, dude, that should be a thing from now on, where it's like, don't do it when- do it when you le- uh, do it when you least expect it. <laughs> that, that, cause that way- I kinda ran out- I'm like out of energy, so I couldn't do it again, but <laughs> If you have the chance to do it- my energy in. Dude, dude, do it when- do it when you least expect it, and it'll be amazing. <laughs> I really want to do it so badly if we end up fighting uh, Leo at some point. And Leo's like, the fuck do you mean, Leprechaun? <laughs> what do you mean, Leprechaun, dude? I just smoke a lot of green stuff. He's like, oh, so you're a Leprechaun, man? And God are they, uh, Yeah, you smoke, you smoke shamrocks. Dude, it's fucking weed. Which is actually canon, because weed was a big thing in the Middle Ages. Cannabis. Like, we've used it since Roman times. Imagine if they did remake this game, like, make an Echoes version of it, and they let you, like, see the 
You know how in Three Houses they had like a world or like the building? Mm-hmm. What they could do is you know, that a robo world, yeah. Yeah, implement like a pro, like sh- implement like the NPCs, like all like the units you have, like walking around, and there will be the sum of them just going like working at the mine or like. I just like the idea of keeping a fortress like nice and tidy and ha- yeah. like having it be an essential part of the gameplay. It would be cool anyway, if like there's a mod that allows you to look at the environment in 3D space because they can obviously the map ain't that big. They can obviously make a fortress they can easily explore. Oh, they could. Yeah, I need to head off for the night. I'm getting exhausted. Yeah, all right, guys. Listen to the stream. Um, you guys like all the stream? Right. Those that stayed it. here, give out a like and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it if you subscribe. I want to get to 150 subs by the end of the year. And, um, yeah. Um, if you guys also check out this man, JP, you can check out his shit. As usual, you can find my stupid shit at anywhere that says Japan Lover 79, except my old fan fiction, so those are dead and you'll never find them. Someone actually manages to find them. I die. Those are super cringe. I'm yeah. glad I sponged those from the internet when I did. They were total drama fan fictions. Anyway, uh, also, you can find my TikTok at JPL79 and uh, go nuts with that. Yeah, here's my proof of my identity on Play on Casual. You casual fuck. I'm aware. Anyway, I don't get, I don't, yeah, anyways, uh, for those watching after the stream, uh, go ahead and and watching the VOD instead, go ahead and and give a like a like if you, if you think it's deserving enough. Subscribe if you think I'm worthy enough of your time, and leave a comment for anything you wanna you know like say anything nice or any criticisms of the stream. So, see y'all later. Good night. We're gonna go to bed. Bye. Dude, if we ever play 